多様な民族が集まる移民国家アメリカアメリカ市民の 15% 以上はメキシコ人の子供またはその子孫アメリカに生まれたにもかかわらず移民とみなされ悲惨な差別と戦い逆境を生き抜いてきたメキシコ系アメリカ人その名もチカーノはい皆さんはさあバッパーショータでございます現在はですねアメリカカリフォルニア東ロサンゼルスに来ております東ロサンゼルスの人口はですね約12万人でですねこのアメリカ総人口の 20% はヒスパニック系の人たちが住んでると言われててまあそのヒスパニック系の中でも大半がメキシコ人らしいんですけどまあ,あのここ東ロサンゼルスではですね 90% 以上の人がスペイン語を話すということでまあ皆さんもご存知の通り180年前に起こったメキシコとアメリカの戦争米国戦争が起こるまではですねここカリフォルニアはメキシコだったと。でまああのアメリカがですね勝利して現在はアメリカになってるんですけど、まあ、そのアメリカになってからメキシコ人の自分たちの文化とかアイデンティティとかを浄化され続けて、まあ、迫害され続けたっていう、まあ、歴史はあるみたいなんですけど、まあ、その時に、えー、生まれたなメキシコ系アメリカ人を呼ぶな、えー、チカーノっていう言葉があるみたいなんですけど、まあ、一部の人では、えー、その当時ですね労働階級を下げ済む言葉呼び名としてあの言われてるみたいなんですけど現在はそんなことないみたいなんですけど、まあ、今回はですねそのチカーノについて皆さんねアメリカの歴史の一部とともに、えーシェアしたいなと思いますはいということで皆さん今からですね東ロサンゼルスに住む地下のにですね実際に会いに行きたいなと思うんですけど今回ちょっとハロートークさんの動画提供ということでちょっとだけ紹介させてくださいハロートークはですね世界中にいるユーザーの得意な言語をですね教え合えるマッチングアプリということで例えばアメリカ人で日本語勉強したい人で日本人で英語勉強したい人っていうのをマッチングさせてくれてチャットとか音声通話とかビデオ通話あと現地で会ったりとかしてこうお互いの言語を教えるっていうねあのマッチングアプリでですねまあ僕もですねあと現地でですね友達作りたいなという時とかにも、まあ、全部が全部じゃないんですけど使ったりしますということで皆さんよかったら概要欄にリンク貼ってるんでチェックイットアウトしてみてくださいということで地下のバモノスバモノスはいということで、えー、今回ですねちょっと紹介してくれる「What's your name, brother?」「Ronin, Ronin, 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 nice to meet you, Shota, brother!」「Nice to meet you, good to meet you, welcome, welcome to the United States!」「Thank you so much, bro!」「So you are Chicano?」Correct. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so how do you want me to call like a Chicano Americans or Latino? Well, what, I, 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 I identify as Chicano, you know? Okay. So there's different subsets. People are Mexican American, people are Latino. But I think it's, it's, it's a free country. You can call yourself whatever you feel you want to identify with, you know? Okay. But、uh, that's how I identify myself. So your mother or your grandmother from Mexico? Correct.、Okay. Yeah, yeah. I have Mexican heritage, but. but I'm born here in the United States.、Oh, so it technically makes me an American citizen, right? Right. And you speak Spanish also? Correct. I speak Spanish and Portuguese. Wow,、yeah. that's amazing. So, your friends? Yeah, this is Ernie. Ernie. This is his 1965 Chevy Impala. Oh my God. And we're going to be so cool. Yeah, it's American classic. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be cruising around the neighborhood with him and his car today. Okay. Ernie, nice to meet you, brother. Are you also Chicano? Yes, sir. Ah,、uh, yeah. ということで今回はこの2人にチカーノの文化と歴史を紹介してもらいたいなと思います。So that's your car. That's、yes. so interesting. Wow, that looks so cool. How much did you spend this? <laughs> with this? A lot of money. A lot of money. Blood, sweat, and tears in here. Oh my god, that looks good.、Yeah, look at the interior. Look at the beautiful yeah, yeah. red interior. It's all leather, huh? The、yes. red leather interior, the chrome,、yeah. the white,、oh, t h i s off white top, convertible、like、beautiful. Dream, man, this one. These gold and, and chrome d a t i n s with the white wall tires. Yeah. Look、Thank、at the、you. lights, look at the back, because this is what distinguishes the 1965. Every car has it, all, all the years from 1958、yeah. up to 1969, the Impalas, you can distinguish them by the back lights usually, and this is、wow. what makes the 65 iconic. So, my imagination of Chicano is like, a, you know, like so much like a low rider, you know? It、It's、goes it goes together, hand in hand. Okay. Chicano. Chicano and low riding. Chicano and low riding goes hand in hand.、Together. Okay. How, how it's connected, you know, like a Chicano and the low riders? Well, back in the days, a lot of the, the guys would have fast cars. Yeah. And、uh, the, the Chicanos had, usually they had Chevys, they didn't have Chevelles. Okay. So, you know, they go low and slow, and that's how the low riders came about. They came out of, I think, one of the first styles of low riders, the 1957 Bel Air. Correct. That was, the,、okay. that was one of the first, first ones. And they、yeah. just did something different. You know, people, people used to have hot rods, and then they were, instead of going fast, they were just going slow. And, like, and、oh, then. You know, that's why they paint their cars really pretty and they do this custom interior so that you could just look at it as it goes by and the sun hits it. 
and the yeah. light that's you know it just glistens and it looks like a jewel driving down the street. Hi, ということで今からですねこのインパラに乗ってえいろんなところね回っていきたいなと思います。こ憧れですよこれめっちゃかっこええわ。That? My air ride. Wow. So you can change the, the height, right? Yes. Wow. Ooh. なんかこれでバランスを調整している感じです。すごいな。なんかこっちが上がったり、こっちが上がったり、タイハイタイヤ四方向あるんですけど上がったり下がったりする感じです。なんかね、やっぱ皆さん乗ってたらですねめちゃくちゃ目線感じますわもういろんな人があのこの車僕ら乗ってるところ見られるって感じです相当いかついんやろうな<笑>いやいいですねまず初めにたどり着いたのは地下の文化に最もゆかりのあると言われている場所The reason Mariachi Plaza is here is because there's such a big Mexican influence here in Los Angeles, in this yeah. part of Los Angeles. In Mexico, every, every town has its own plaza. Yeah, I and the that, plaza yeah. is where everybody gathers socially to come and talk and to come meet. Oh, okay. They come hang out, they read books, they play cards. Yeah. Uh, usually when there is a, a, a local fiesta or, mm -hmm. or a party or an, an event in the town, they That's always have nice. it in the plaza. Okay. Yeah. This is Saka. Soy Mariachi. Tengo mi grupo. マリアッチとはスペイン語で民族音楽を演奏する楽団のことを指すみたいです。People staying here, it's a looking for job or something? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of these guys, they're mariachis, and they're here for hire. So you can come and like, if you have a birthday party and you want some traditional Mexico music, you can come and ask these guys, hey, how much are you per hour? They're pretty expensive, okay, because you have five guys and they're playing live music. But usually you can hire them for a couple hours, and then it's a good time. はい、ということで皆さん今やってきたのが東ロサンゼルスのなんですか中心街の大通りみたいなところにやってきたんですけどいや全然違いますわなんかメキシコ文化がめちゃくちゃ入ってきてるって感じでもうその辺の文字はスペイン語やしで聞こえてくる音楽もなんかメキシコ系のラテン系のミュージックやし人もですね、えー、ラテンの人がめちゃめちゃ多いな、まあ、メキシコ人以外にもいっぱいおるなっていう感じなんですけど。なんかで一番びっくりしたのがですねロサンゼルスのダウンタウンとかやったらものすごい物乞いとかしてる人おったんですけどここ皆さん見てくださいめっちゃきれくて全く誰も物乞いとかホームレスの人が全くいないって感じですでまあ話なんでこんな少ないみたいな感じで聞いたらやっぱ貧しい人はおるけど、まあ、メキシコ人のソウル的にお金ないなら何かして働,き働いて稼げよみたいな缶拾ったりあと何か売ったり何かしらあるやろみたいなドンビレイジーワークハーダーみたいなまあそんな感じのなんていうんですかねメキシコ人のなんですか、ね、ソウルみたいですで地下のはですね彼ら独自のなんか文化がさまざまあるみたいで、まあ、代表的なのがこうやって、ね、地下のアートとか地下のタトゥーとか地下のギャングとかあとローライダーとか地下のファッション地下のミュージックとかねさまざ、あ、まあるんですけど、まあ、僕の印象はですね地下のイコールなんかギャングとか,なんかタトゥーとかでローライダーという、ね、印象が強いんですけど、まあ、それもねあの地下のタトゥーの発祥がですねギャングと,、えー、と密接に結びついてるってことから、まあ、そういう、ね、印象が根付いてるみたいなんですけど。数ある地下の文化の中でも特に魅力的なのが地下の壁画街のですね至る所に壁ぎっしりと描かれた壁画が多く見られます So this mural right here is by an artist named Paul Botello It was done in like 1997 and it's called The Greatest Love It's a very famous mural in this community I was, When I was a little boy I remember when they were painting this I was probably like 10 or 11 タトゥーで連想されがちなのがギャングなど反社会勢力ですが、まあ、それにはですねルーツが大きく影響しているそうです。Well, this is why I choose black and gray tattoos.、Okay. But why a lot of us have it is because originally it came from prison. But over time, it got perfected. And now you see more people rock that, like have that style. But it's a cleaner, or better style、mm -hmm. tattoo or whatever.、Yeah. So I was showing you this, is, this was my, my pops when he was in, in the、dog. war. He was a Marine.、Yeah. And I have the American flag here.、Okay. And then this was my grandfather when、oh. he used to pick in the fields. In the 1950s, he came from Mexico to work in the Bracero movement. That's your grandfather. Yeah. yeah. 
and then here's the Mexican flag. And then right here you have La Virgen de Guadalupe combining the two cultures. Awesome, man. So your parents went to, your, your, your dad went to the war. Which Correct. kind of war? Like a Vietnamese war? Vietnam. Vietnam. Yes. I think Chicano like, had some action with uh, you know, Vietnamese wars also, right? Yeah, it was a big political thing. A lot of people were protesting the war, you know? Well, a lot of our people were on the front lines, you know? And, and, the and, people, yeah, you know, and they're sending us. War. Yeah, oh. so, so, you know, it just is like, why am I trying to go fight a war? A Vietnamese guy never did nothing bad to me. Yeah. That's some political stuff that's going on, right? Yeah. So I think people thought the same way. Like, what are our people going over there fighting a war and we're not even getting served proper rights here in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. We're good enough to die and fight for your, for the country, but we're not good enough to get basic rights mm -hmm. and be treated with like like uh, civilly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that, that that you would agree with that? That's kind of yeah. what the point of All, they were, He was also fighting for, for uh, pay rates, for jobs. Um, the Chicanos were getting paid a lot less than, than the white at the time. Wow. The white person. So he was fighting for a lot of those rights. Yeah. This is America and everybody should have the right to start from the same starting point. Exactly, yeah. You know, we should all be, oh, oh, have the same opportunities. That's, that's, that's basically what those types of groups and people are fighting for, you know? Mm. So what do you see, what do you guys think like for example basically here was uh, used to be Mexico right so kind of like yeah like probably stories. about 200 years ago yeah so uh, what uh, do you think now this this used to be this used to be Mexico I think that that's that's part of it too that a lot of the people a lot of the culture yeah. what didn't migrate here it was already here yeah In Texas Arizona Nevada uh, New Mexico New Mexico all that used to be part of Mexico and then yeah. the Spanish lost it to the to to the English so yeah. then it became part of the United States you know yeah yeah. でですね、当時チカーノはですね、えー、アメリカにメキシコの 50% の領土を盗まれたと主張してるみたいで,でその時メキシコ系アメリカ人にはですね、社会経済的権利がなかったということで、まあ、それを主張するためにさまざ、あ、まな運動が行われたみたいなんですけど、まあ、1960年代に行われた公民権運動というのが一番有名みたいなんですけどその時のスローガンがですね我々が国境を越したんではない。国境が我々を分断したんだっていうスローガンらしくてですねまあチカーノの人たちはアメリカの侵略にですね俺たちは巻き込まれたっていう主張らしくて皆さんどう思いますか、えー、現在ですねアメリカとメキシコの国境に壁を引いたとかメキシコ不法移民とかやってますけどもし自国がですねどっかの侵略で国境を引かれて自分たちが生まれたところに戻ると不法移民って言われるなんかもともとここはカリフォルニアはメキシコだったっていうことを知るとですねうーんってなりません、ね、なんか僕はそういう感じになるんですけど皆さんはどう思いますか ?So your ancestor like you know like got anger or the other something like anger nest or something or nothing?Well I, I don't I, I can't speak for it because I wasn't around at that time yeah, you know yeah. borders always change this is the history the United States used to only be 13 states、yeah. so things change all the time Mexico used to be three times bigger and now it's half the size、yeah. so、uh, borders change all the time you know?、Yeah. How is the police with this? Like, no problem? No more. No more. No more. Okay, it used to be a problem. Back in the 80s,、yeah. 90s, they see this, they pull us over. Oh,、like、yeah. It, fast.、Okay. Stereotype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gangster. <laughs> now, now, they'll pull up, say hello, nice car, and keep going, leave us alone. Why is it changed? Why? <laughs> I think because it's just、uh, like, it just changed. It used to be, it used to be bad because it was new. And it was associated with the gangs, but then as it, as it evolved away from gangs, it became more family oriented. And the police started to understand that it was more about family and people going out with their kids. Not every lowrider was a troublemaker.、Oh, okay. But originally, the stereotype was that every lowrider was a troublemaker.、Okay. So they were like, no. Okay, you know? so it used to be like a lowrider, it's related to the Yeah, it's like, oh man, it's gangs. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah but that's yeah. not the case. It's、okay. usually, if you go to any lowrider show, they're very family oriented. It's like a picnic. Yeah, a picnic. Everybody's yeah. hanging out. Take my chairs, take my kids, we、yeah. sit down and just hang out. Yeah. そうなんですかね、ローライダーは、まあ、みんなファミリーみたいな、まあ、どこ出身とか関係なく、えー、みんなローライダー乗ってるやつはファミリー。すごいいいですね。続いてやってきたのは、ここ東ロサンゼルスの象徴ともいえるメキシカンレストラン。はい、で今僕が頼んだのはブリトヒュージのあ、what you got? I got a torta 
You want to see here? Let me. Yeah, yeah. That kind of sandwich, right? Chicken, yeah. It's it's yeah. it's like a soft bread Mexican sandwich. I, I like them a lot. You know, they have tomato, mayonnaise, yeah. lettuce, and beans inside. Yeah. Did you grow up also eating Mexican food? Yeah. 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 Well, I, I would go visit my grandfather in Mexico all the time. So I like beans. I like rice, uh, which are traditional staples of Mexican food. Yeah. Those are a lot of dishes that, that I think that more than anything, it's the food that brings us together. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one is thick skin. Mm? Skin. Mm. That big skin. Mm. Yeah, the camera is like this. Like this. The tomato and the meat are inside. Can you see? Yeah, guys. Honma, I'm like America. I'm not used to it. The letters are all Spanish. And there is also a news in Spain. It's also in Spain. It's also in America. It's also in English. It's also in the United States. It's also in Spain. It's also in Spain. そんな彼ら独自の文化が根付いた東ロサンゼルスには地下のギャングと呼ばれるギャングがいることから、まあ、地下のに対して怖い印象を持たれがちだそうですしかしどのようにして地下のとギャングが関わっていたのでしょうか In those same communities, there, there, there are gangs, you know,、yeah. that's a part of it. I think when our political leaders kind of fell by the wayside, not by choice, but just because of sabotage or whatever in the 1960s and 70s and even to the late 80s, when we lost those positive role models, then the gangs rose and they took control of those vulnerable minds、okay. in order to make them feel like they're a part of something. But it, the, the association is that, it's just that people are territorial. That's part of it, you know?、Oh, okay, so there are so many different <laughs> territories. Correct. Depending on the gang. Yeah, and it can, depend, it can depend on where you go to school. Yeah. Usually,、okay. those main streets, those train stations, and those freeways, they really divide the neighborhoods. Then they make them like a, little, a bunch of little islands. Okay. So then you have all these people that are together on these little islands, you know? But you can go anywhere, right? Like you can pass t h e s e gangs, like a border and stuff, or like you, well, you're not allowed to go. Not if the people are, have rivalries. Oh, okay. Now, if they have rivalries, then you can't go anywhere. So, you, you guys are also like a gang member before, or no? I'm not a gang member. No, no. you're not. No, but I've you, been. Yes. You, you used to be. Yes.、Mm. Still am, just not active. Okay. But I still let people know, yeah, this is where I'm from. Okay. Okay. So, you have some place you cannot enter? That's correct. Yeah, you have. Well, there's good. You there's can、people. and you can't.、Mm -hmm. There's some places I can't be. You can't be. Wow. Or there's some places we shouldn't be. So, how do they know like, this, this, this area is like a,、uh, you know, who, who, which gang's territories? You know? How well, do you know? Well, he and I, we just read the writing on the wall. Ah, just that, that、uh, yeah. letters. Yeah, the letters tell you what's going on right here, who's, who's here. Okay, so what, what do they say, this one? That one says Vario, the V,、mm -hmm. Gage,、uh, Gage Boys. That's gang's names. Gage Boys is the clique, probably, but Gage Maravilla is the, is the major gang. Wow. Okay. So that's, that's their section, you know? Like everybody kind of has their, their own cliques, you know? So that's how you recognize.、Uh, that's, how you you know? Know, that's how you know、okay. what area、and、somebody's from. If you didn't know, they're going to come and let you know. Oh,、uh, yeah. That's exactly what he did. That's what he did right now, yeah.、Uh, he's, he, he came through, like I said. To like let a, you know where you're at. Yeah.、Oh. He, he did it. He, you know, he did very it, respectfully. He did it very respectfully. But、okay. he could have, he could have, it could have not w e n t that way either, you know? So,、oh, yeah. so it's his choice. So sometimes he, somebody comes, like,、oh, what's going on、exactly. here? Exactly.、Like, like、yeah, he can be more aggressive.、Wow. But it's his choice. It's his, 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 his area, and we have to respect that too. Yeah, so we have to he might, he might He might say, hey, no filming right here. Okay. And we gotta go. Okay, that's again. This, this is, is his section. His section. And if we don't want to have conflict, You know, we're not gonna just keep peace, you know, but,、yeah. but we don't w a n t to have conflict. All right, it's cool.、Oh, wow. You know? And you have to have somebody who, who, who kind of knows. That's why, so when you're interviewing me and we're on,、uh, over there showing the murals、mm -hmm. and you're talking to me, it's not that I feel uncomfortable, it's just that I'm watching what's going on behind you. Okay, sometimes. Because I don't know what could happen, you know? I have to beware all the time.、Wow. And, and that might be my past, but I, I am aware. That's, I have to be aware. Okay. You know, I, that's just how I am. So I'm, I'm watching. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's not, again, it's not that I'm afraid. It's just that I have to be aware. Because what if somebody just comes behind you and just takes、something, your camera? Like like camera. <clears throat> wow. This is not walking the Hollywood stars. Yeah.、Exactly. You know? Yeah. This is different. This is the MV. 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 This
、まあ、名前みたいなのが書いてあるなって感じですこんな文字とかほんま正直わからんじゃないですかあの一般人が見たらでも彼らにとってはこういったね文字とかも一個一個意味があってこっからここは誰々のエリアとかねいっぱいそういうねなんか暗号みたいなのがあるみたいですまあ、勝手に入ってもったら怖くないですかもう全く知らんもの入ってもとってとか結構ありえると思うんですけど、まあ、聞いてみたらですね、まあ、マフィア同士じゃないとそういう揉め事とかね普通の人が入ってないや普通にするには全然大丈夫なんですけどなんかややこしいことしたらダメみたいなんですけど、まあ、マフィア同士のこの領土の取り合いっていうのがこう結構あるみたいです。So, I have one question. What's gang do? Like only patrolling? So, and then,、uh, anything else? They have a jobs? A lot of them have jobs, yes. Yeah. Gang members work on the streets. Walk on the street? They, What do you mean? They, they work. The they do anything that, that, that you can do. <laughs> okay. To make money. We don't know what they're doing. They're,、okay. they're self employed. They do whatever they want, yeah. Okay.、But、whatever they're doing, they're doing it for their community and their organization. Organization, you know? So, how you can become a gang, for, for example, if I want to. You want to get jumped into his gang right now? <laughs> how? Is, is that there's some rules or something? Yeah, and usually, who, who well, joins usually, nobody? Usually, you grow up. In the neighborhood, yeah, and、uh, and the guys they feel you, and then and then they see if you're tough, and if you're tough, and they like you, and they love you, and you're part of their、uh, their community, yeah, then they'll jump you in. They beat they beat each other up to show how tough you are, <laughs> okay. And then after you get beat up for a little bit, then you become a member, initiated,、oh, okay. But once you get in, yeah, you never get out. So, I have a question. Go ahead. You know, being the Chicanos,、yeah. you get discriminated sometimes or not no now? Yeah, I think that、uh, there, there's always been discrimination towards、uh, okay. Chicanos. Yeah. They, like when my mom was a kid,、yeah. they, they, would tell, they would tell the other students to tell her, oh, stay away from them. They're all in gangs. And、okay. that's a stereotype. That's not true. We're not all in gangs, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Okay. We're working class people, but that's just the stereotype. Oh, they're all in gangs, you know? Yeah. It all depends on the situation. For example, a Chicano walks into a Beverly Hills、yeah. rich, high class shopping center by himself.、Yeah. A lot of people are going to focus and look、yeah. at that one Chicano, look at him, he's all full of tattoos.、Yeah. Keep an eye on him or call security. Yeah, yeah. They're going to stereotype us. でまあ、聞いた話によるとやっぱ育った環境がですねやっぱり違うみたいですやっぱり年代にもよるみたいなんですけど地下のだから何々できない地下のだからあのアメリカにも同じ育ったにもかかわらず一緒の仕事できないとか同じ仕事しとってもなんか給料が違ったりっていうねいっぱい差別を受けてきたみたいですまあそういったねあの同じ人間やのに同じところで生まれたのにもかかわらずいろんな差別を受けてきたっていうことで、こうなんていうんですかね、ギャングの道がですね、開けるんじゃないかなっていう話をですね、彼と一緒にしてたんですけど、まあ、わからんでもないですよね。はい、ということで続きましてやってきたのは地下のミュージック地下のといえば音楽っていうことらしくて、まあ、地下のですね音楽を見せてもらいたいなと思いますここに並ぶのは現代では流通しない貴重なレコードの数々世界に名を馳せてきたスヌープ・ドッグやドクター・ドレイなどヒップホップアーティストらは60年代70年代の地下の音楽やファッションに大きく影響を受けてきたそうです Coming here? Yeah. You get a... A piece of East Los Angeles coming here. Okay. You get it like he said, you get your music,、mm -hmm. you get your Chicano attire. Charlie Brown? Chicano fashion. Exactly. So we call these Charlie Brown, yes. Okay. Chicano. This is our style, our estilo. So you could get anywhere from your hats. Oh, that's your hat. Chicano too, hats. Chicano styles, okay. Yes. 彼らが築き上げてきたチカのカルチャーは当時迫害され続けてきた過去を持つ彼らにとって強い訴えであり現在ではチカーとしてのアイデンティティを確立するための自己表現として高く評価されるようになったみたいです。It's, that's a character of who I am. Yeah. If my car is dirty, then it's g o n n a let you know who I am. I'm a dirty person. Oh, so car is kind of like a, another you. A character of me. Yeah. yeah. 
So, do you want to keep your, you know, Chicano culture in the future? So, you know? Of course, yeah. I'm, I'm never gonna stop being a Chicano. This is what I am because of my heritage, you know? So, it's, it's my job to continue to promote it and to help people understand it and to bring it into a positive light and let people know that it's not just a negative thing. It's not just about gangs yeah. and, and, and that lowriders aren't bad. Mm -hmm. We're trying to show something positive, you know? And, and that's it. It's just a... Sometimes people have preconceived uh, uh, beliefs about certain types of people, but once they meet us and they hang out with us, then they say, oh man, those guys are really nice. I yeah. like them. I, I want to hang out with them again, you know? So yeah. that's what we're here for. はい、ということで皆さん今回はですね、地下のと共に一日過ごしてみたんですけど、初めの印象はやっぱりギャングとかそういうイメージしかなかったんですけど、彼らと実際にね、話して、えー、一日滞在してみて、なんていうんですかね、ものすごい彼らの優しさとか気遣いとかも感じたし、なんていうんですかね、ギャングっていう言葉は上目面だけで、彼らの本質とか文化を見ると、ものすごい、なんていうんですかね、初めの印象からガラッと変わった感じでしたね。なんかメキシコ僕滞在してたんですけどメキシコに滞在してたメキシコ人とこう触れ合ってるこのソウルのつながりみたいなのを感じさせてもらえたなって思いますねはいということで皆さん今回はですね皆さんに、えー、東ロサンゼルスである地下の文化を皆さんに紹介してみましたまあ彼らもですね地下の文化をみんなに届けたいっていう活動もしてるんで概要欄の方にですね彼らの,あのリンクとかも貼ってるんでもし東ロサンゼルスに来ることがあれば皆さん連絡してみてください。ということで、皆さん今回は東ロサンゼルスからでございます。アディオス。アディオス。